talk yeah. about talking about shifting and changing and recasting, man. Did you hear the freaking army now that's all behind recasting uh Kang? Oh, that's yeah. oh, what are they talking I, about? I have a lot to say about this, so we can get I into do it. too. I'll, I'll mm. let you guys go first. I got a lot to mm. say about this. No, go ahead, go ahead. I'll go last. Go ahead. What do you have to say, DJ? DJ. Um when it first the accusations first came out. Mm-hmm. And my, you watch my my video I did. I said, mm-hmm. let's wait to see what the story really is, right? Mm-hmm. You know, because in these kind of situations, there's three sides of the story. Mm-hmm. You know, his, hers, and the truth. And mm-hmm. I, I wasn't going to pass judgment. I said, if he is found guilty and it this really happened, then he should be punished. If not, you know, just hold your judgment off to find out what really happened. Now it comes out mm-hmm. that she was the one that went crazy and that he was the one that actually called the cops mm-hmm. over a text message in the phone. Mm-hmm. And now she recanted everything. And Danny, you can probably attest to this. Doesn't the state usually picked up those kind of charges anyway, regardless, maybe not the recanting, but let's say for instance, that she was the victim, the true victim. Yeah. And he, and she doesn't want to prosecute the state still can the, pick where if yeah. we're at the state I live in. Yeah. Cause DB's we're in the same state. Different. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. DB's yeah. different from you. I see. I'm in South. I'm in South Carolina. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm down there, Charleston. Oh, man, me and you, we just, man, we about an hour away from each other. <laughs> yeah, I got, and I got oh, relatives. I got, and I got crazy. relatives between both of you. No, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if the if the victim don't want, does uh, the victim does not want to prosecute, then the state can pick that up. And, yeah, but they hate to do. They call it a hostile witness. They but apparently, hostile witness because his his, his agent saying they got video and they got. Actual yeah. evidence to back yeah. his side of the story up. So, she, hey, I know one thing. If she think Jonathan Major, and I'm not meat gazing, mm-hmm. but all the women, all the shows I see him on, they are going fool and hollering and all this kind of stuff. He like he chiseled from a damn rock, and she think that somebody thirsty out there is not going to approach him. Then she is crazy. She better. Yeah, yeah. Be she tied better, on her game, whatever. You're married to one of the right. hottest. If, if you are famous. Three thing, one of these three things going to get you, if not two or more of them. A woman going to get you if you're a man and you're a heterosexual man. A woman's going to get you. Either alcohol going to get you or drugs. One of those, one mm-hmm. of those three things going to get you. If you're yeah. homosexual, then whatever you attract to is going to get you. Alcohol or drugs. Because you know very movie. few can have that temptation, fight off that temptation. And I know what it would be for me. I'd be... Pussy to my eyeballs. I know. The first to call you poppy. <laughs> the, the drinking I and the, and the drugs, that. that ain't nothing. Yeah. Unless it's The Rock. Right, Danny? Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Danny loves The Rock. I love The Rock, but I don't love The Rock. Not about that much. <laughs> no, but like I was saying, though, it's like, I just feel like we should hold our judgment until we find Oh, 100%. Like, oh, yeah, true. Don't, 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 don't rush to, you know, because I hate, I hate the... You know the cancel culture and uh, you know public opinion court is like because everybody wants to be the first to jump on it. It's like it's slow your roll. Let's find out what really, really happened. Who I'm not. And I'm, not su- I'm not supporting domestic violence on man, yeah. the woman, or woman on man. Regardless, you know that's wrong. But I'm let saying, me, I, let me ask this question, DJ. Even let's say he did do it, is it worth mm-hmm. destroying his career for one I, mistake? Oh no. Now I can no, see no. this with multiple mistakes, yeah. or he has a history of it. Because now I'm hearing some bullshit that, yeah, uh, the other director, movies, in other yeah, movies, the, he had issues and stuff. We never heard any of this stuff about him until now. Until now, yeah. I said so in my what video I'm too. saying is, if it's one mistake, or one, mm-hmm. and I'm not saying, and I'm definitely not saying it's okay to it's be right, yeah, the domestic violence on any man versus women, woman versus man, the victim, whatever the case may be. But is it enough to destroy somebody, like? Uh, Amber Heard, she pretty much destroyed Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I don't know if he recovered from yeah. that, not financially. Yeah. Well, that's see, that's the thing, right? Along the road throughout a career, people make friends and they make enemies. Mm-hmm. And the moment that they have an opportunity to come out and put more darkness, like on a situation, they, they they're going to come out. Right, they're going to capitalize on it because now they have a way of speaking. And right, I, I, I came across this article, right? And I'm just, just bear with me. We're going to go through it. Um, and this is the thing that people are talking about capitalizing on something without even it being factual yet. You know, this mm-hmm. is, you know, 
just oh, there was an article out. within twelve hours of this happening that people were like, "Oh, he, you know, he had a history of this." A hundred percent, and it's and it's crazy. It's crazy. We've become now a society of you're guilty until proven innocent. Now, exactly, right? Innocent. Exactly. Even when you're proven innocent, though, you still, it's still help. Yeah, yeah, because the public opinion is already right, your, exactly. your, your, your reputation exactly. is damaged already. Like, look at Johnny yeah. Depp, for example. His reputation is damaged no matter what right. what happens. So, the article starts off: Marvel shouldn't be afraid of recasting. Jonathan Major oh. was arrested for claims of domestic abuse. Marvel should think carefully about what could happen next. After the news this weekend, the actor Jonathan Major was arrested in New York on a charge of assault. Marvel Studios finds itself in an extremely precarious position moving forward. But it's it's a position that gives the studio the opportunity to stand forward for victims of domestic assault by doing the right thing. Recasting Major's role. Majors who first broke out, well, we all know this, right? Where he broke up in this movie and that movie, no, and they bring out craft country. They bring, nope, yeah, yeah, exactly. They bring up all their ecstasies of what he, good things he did, right? And on Saturday, March 25th, police were called to a residence in Manhattan by a woman later confirmed to be Majors' girlfriend after verifying injuries to her head and neck. The 33 year old actor was arrested but released from police custody later that same night. The next day, spokesman for Majors released a statement denying claims and citing unreleased evidence that would allegedly exonerate him from any wrongdoing. But that's the thing that I was thinking. I'm like, these Uber cars now have cameras in them, right? Uh, a lot I of them do that. Some of them. Yeah. yeah, well, if you're high roll, if you're- It depends like, on your city you're in. I think like yeah. where I'm at, yeah. they don't have one. But they do have like, you order the Uber, They'll send you a picture of how the driver looks. Yeah, mm -hmm. on your phone, yeah. so you know you get in the car with guy's car versus getting in the car with Danny. Yeah, exactly. Danny would have the nice, you know, luxurious SUV with the tinted windows, and I would have it. <laughs> you know, I thought about Uber. Yeah, like, nah, that's too much drama because somebody could say something. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could have to let some fools or drunks get in your car and can't get them out. Nah. Right, and this is the thing, you know, women groups, and and this is the bad thing, right? I'm I'm reading ahead in this article and I'm just like shaking yeah. my head and like yes yeah go ahead take, 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 take it where you're at where which no. part are you at down about the where, where while the reality of false accusations does does exist and mm -hmm. it's important to note that history of black men facing false accusations particularly are still statistically unlikely it, no I, mm -hmm. I mean but it still can happen. I've seen it happen. I know friends. I, that I'm happened. glad that you brought this out right here. The history mm -hmm. of black men facing. I'm sorry, but domestic abuse happens in any race yeah. or color, man. Yeah, that and that's true. the thing. That but they're thing trying to put it because, like, his girlfriend's white. It's, his girlfriend's a oh. white girl. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't even know yeah. that. See? Yeah, uh, I didn't know that either. Does it matter? That's a stigma, no, man. I'm telling you that. That's a stigma. stigma. It's a big stigma. Being, yeah. in, being in the South, being mm -hmm. married in interracial marriage, I've gone through some stuff. So I'm my boss has even said, man. If I see you back up at that, my, I met my wife at a, a, a clothing store called Cato. He said, if I see you back up there again on duty, da da da. I'm like, okay. You know, and then another boss after him said, uh, how you said it? Um, I don't think I could could marry outside my race. And I just looked at him like, what what does that got to do with anything? It, I looked in the Bible. Uh, I'm, it says nothing about that. It says two uneven yoked people. And that's like a Christian and a non Christian mm -hmm. shouldn't get married, shouldn't be yoked together. It says right. evenly yoked. But it said nothing about mm -hmm. race, black, white, whatever. And so it was crazy. And the last little thing I'm going to get off my soapbox, I went to like seven different preachers, both black and white. No one would marry us. We had to go to the Justice of the Peace to get married. And that's in 1995. Damn. Well, I'm, I'm getting my soapbox now. So when I was in high school in 2000, no, 2001, had a guy on a baseball team I was friends with. Went to a party. A girl liked him. He didn't like her. He was a black guy. She was a white girl. He kind of blew, you know, she tried to make an advance. He, she didn't, you know, he said no. They got drunk and everything uh, because he made fun of her and everything. He got accused of rape. Wow. Yep. You know, and then went through the whole thing. You know, all he lost. So he was about to get going to he was going to USC. Scholarships. Lots of scholarships. You know, 
his reputation, all that stuff, got put in jail, mm-hmm. uh, was found guilty. And then about two years later, after he found guilty, she came out and said that she yeah. lied about the whole thing, made the whole thing up. Oh, you know what happened? You know what happened to her? Nothing. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So that whole thing about it's unlikely to happen, it happens more than people yeah, think about it. Oh, absolutely. Way more than uh, and way how many guys more. are actually got found guilty of these things when Nothing really happened. Yep. Yeah. 100%. That's 100%. That saying, man. Hell has no fury like a woman no scorned. Woman. That is and I, so and I, true. And listen, I am a big supporter of, you know, non domestic violence stuff. And like, don't, you know, I, I, my mom went through that growing up. So I'm a big supporter of it. But this whole, oh, believe the victim no matter what. No. I don't believe. Yes. We can't today. Take it serious. Do an yeah. investigation. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't, don't just blow them off. Yeah. Take it serious. But, yeah. If the person is found to be not guilty or that person be lying, you know, right. there should be some repercussions. But exactly. what it is, right? Um, South Carolina was like number five for long for shit for a couple for years. We were number one. Yeah. We were yeah. number one for domestic violence. And what it is is that sometimes a woman will lie, but there's this stigma or there's this thought process that you don't want to arrest the victim because when something does happen later on, maybe it didn't happen this time, maybe she indulged, lied, or whatever, or he, yeah. he indulged a lie, but there has been proof or evidence of it in the past. You don't want to arrest them if they make something up false because that will, yeah. if they're if, we, if the victim calls us for help and we go there and end up arresting her or him, then when something, the shit really does hit the fan or whatever, then they'll statistics like, why you they're, do they're that? fearful for calling. They're more yeah. fearful of calling because of the fear they get locked up. Yeah, and also statistic wise here in South Carolina, and I think across the country, it takes a victim, a female victim, six to seven times of being physically assaulted before, before she decides to pull yeah. the trigger yeah. and says, "Hey, that's then a scary." Then he got to go to jail. Yeah. But a yeah. man is more than that because a man is embarrassed. Man, yeah, that exactly. Was kicking his ass, yeah. so it and might that's be why fifteen said, or twenty it, times before he say, "I had enough." It, I'm probably there's a, there's a lot of dom, domestic violence on men that's never uh-huh. reported. Yeah. Never reported. They're not gonna no. do it. Right. They're not gonna do it. Especially they they my size. I'm two sixty. So I'm two sixty and my wife hundred and twenty pounds and she whipping my ass. Not because she can physically do it, but because I just John don't want to hit back. Yeah, she's right. slapping you hit you, yeah. And, yeah. But she's <laughs> tearing me up. But the first time you push her back, oh yeah, that's it. You know, that's yeah. It. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm uh, glad so they part- changed the laws. I'm sorry. Go ahead, no, go ahead Danny. I'm, I'm, so I'm glad they changed the laws here because it used to be you must make an arrest if you go to it. Now it's May, and basically there's things Someone, put in someone's got to someone's got to leave the house sometimes too, right? Uh, like Nikki call. Haley did that. Yeah. Um, she she really put teeth in the um, domestic violence laws here in South Carolina. Glad she went for president because she's probably gonna get my vote. Um, it's pretty much you go there, and if you can't, there's no physical evidence or there's no witnesses there. Most likely, no one's going to get arrested. But if there's witnesses there, um, or you can articulate that you feel like, if I leave my house, mm-hmm. gosh, I'm going to whip the hell out of Danielle. Mm-hmm. If you can articulate that and, and show past calls, uh, you talk to family members, you, you pull the CAD, and the CAD is what keeps track of all the previous calls, and it says you've been there 10 times in the past month, you can articulate that based on your what you observe mm-hmm. and stuff. You can make an arrest, but then let's say, for instance, both of them are equal combatants, so they call them mutual combatants. Mm. And you post a, by the law, arrest both of them. They go in front of a judge. The judge hears the whole thing and then determines, okay, based on what you told me, guy scar, you pushed her first, so you're gonna get charged with domestic violence, and then let Lisa go free. And what I really love about it, um, guy scar and Lisa married, and they get a divorce. She can do what they call an order of protection. It's good for either six months or to a year, but it's good in all 50 states. So mm-hmm. if I decide to leave right. and go to Alaska, I take the order yeah. of protection with me. If God's car follows me, tell he the police arrested. and he can be arrested. So I love that about, wow. about domestic violence. That's crazy. Um, um, didn't the Army officially took majors off their posters? Yes, they did. Yes. So, no, yeah. temp, so, no, here's a cash event. They were using a, using a commercial recently. I, I read the army thing. They said they are temporarily halting the advertisement. They haven't like pulled them from advertising. They're, they're just until the upon the, event, until until upon the, back investigation. Upon the investigation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which okay, which is fair. Which is fair. Yeah, fair, yeah. fair. Which is fair. My my whole yeah. thing is like before we pass judgment on this man, 
let's wait for all the evidence to come out. Exactly. We don't know the whole story. Exactly. All we know is what she said. Right. You know? Yeah. And I'm, you know. That makes too much sense, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. I know. Yeah. G- 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 Major, what do you think about it? The same thing? Same thing, man. It's a, it's a sad situation. And yeah, it's just like too many people want to just like, I'm sure mm. as soon as they came out, I knew exactly people was going to jump down there talking about, mm. oh, they need to get rid of him. To do, I'm like sitting there like, dang, let's right. go through the process first. Yeah, if I'm the 24 story. hours yet. And they were trying right. to hang right. like, come on. Right. <laughs> I'm like, crazy. damn. So, yeah, give it some time. I know I saw somebody wanted and said Denzel should take his place. I saw that. I, somebody mentioned that before. But, no, you know, I like Denzel, but I don't, nah, I don't think I like no. him as Kane. Boyoga, Boyega, I can see. Boyega, I can see. Mm-hmm. Honestly, and I can see. saw Woman King. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed that. Man, People hated Boyega, it, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I did too, boy. I enjoyed was, it. It was fire yeah. in there. Especially yeah, um, Viola Davis. Oh, yeah. Man. Austin. She got, she got pretty jacked yeah. for that too, man. She has some good yeah. biceps. What's, what's your take? All right, here's my take. I, I'm basically agreeing with what everybody said. It's it's just really it's just it's kind of sad that we've gotten to this point where I, I think um, DJ said it best. Um, I, I I it's at first and th- this is just me at first when I heard the news, I, I was just more in shock because I'm like, wait, what? Like, I literally mm-hmm. saw the guy like just uh in creed 3 and i'm like yeah. whoa what and then right. and then the more i thought about it, the more i'm like well hold on a minute there there has to be more to the story than they're making than they because we've seen a lot of situations where a situation like this happens but then when more stuff comes out then it's like okay now we have the full story and even now we don't really know the truth like mm-hmm. it is, it it is kind of an example of the Amber Heard Johnny Depp thing, where at first it's like, whoa, wait a minute, like, wow, this this guy's kind of a piece of garbage. But then once you find out the whole story, it's like, wow, it's the situation is completely different than what we thought, type of thing. So it's, yeah. I as and then as far as the recasting goes, like, uh, this is kind of hypocritical, right? Because. Mm-hmm. We see people like Ezra Miller, right? And I'm gonna bring this up. Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller, arguably did worse stuff than what. Mm. And granted, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not defending either, mm-hmm. because I, I agree, domestic, domestic abuse is terrible. Well, what, when you got actual video image showing him do the crimes and, right. and like multiple just, stuff, multiple things, yeah, like multiple over things. and over, history. and this right. one is like <laughs> all Hersey, Hersey yeah. right now, so. Now, I, I understand when shit like this happens, you know, companies, you know, want to yeah. like it's like it's like it's it's a snap reaction where it's, you know, when you hear something bad happens, like, oh, crap, we, we got to we have to save face and fire you now because you're going to make us look bad. But it's until we really know more. And if there is evidence that he is innocent, then. Really, I, he shouldn't be punished because it, it he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Now, if it was a situation where there was proof and he actually did it, then yes, like a hundred percent, he needs to be punished, recast, mm. whatever. But right. it's just very sad state of it. It's just and always remember one thing: no matter if you're innocent or guilty, or no, if even if you're innocent. Twitter will still think you're guilty no matter yeah. what. Oh, the, court of, the court of public opinion. Yeah. The court of public yep. opinion. So just just to finish up this article before I get my I put in my two cents on it. Um, shockingly, and this is what the thing that kind of like I see what they were trying to t- twist in this article, as you can say, the, yeah. already they've done it a couple of times. They go they shockingly, and, bird. shockingly and unfortunately, this is the situation that Marvel Studios has forced bef- uh, faced before. William Hurt, the actor who played General Thunderbolt Ross, may he rest in peace, and the MCU, and who passed away in 2022, was credibly accused, credibly accused of violent assault by Marlene Matlin and Donna Kaz, both of whom detailed their experiences and memoirs released before the Me Too movement. Even Josh Borland, the actor who played Thanos in the Avengers Infinity War, um, and Avengers Endgame was arrested in 2004 and charged for domestic battery made by actress Diane Lane. 
The nature of abuse is one intentionally hidden for the sake of plausible deniability, but in both cases, the claims were made long before either actor was cast in the franchise. Who did we just lose? Oh, we lost G major. All right. So see right away now what all those actors have in common. They're guys. And they're white. Yeah. They did fail to mention Amber Heard. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, of course not. Because that hurts their cause, right? Yeah. Yeah. So however, in the case of Jonathan Majors, um, in the case of Jonathan Majors, uh, the, the recency of the charges gives Marvel Studios the opportunity to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Be somebody. Um, uh, and cut ties with the actor. Let's, let's fuck up his career uh, right away. Right away. Before, he, before he's found guilty. Before anything comes up. It's like, stupid. Yeah. Too many major and too many major entertainment companies and franchises have sheltered abusers for the sake of profit and avoiding controversy at the term of making it even harder for victims to have their voices heard. It's a difficult decision to make, especially for a brand built on impeccable planning years in advance. But at some point, the escapism of popcorn cinema has to be relinquished in favor of protecting the victims of real tangible violence. You know what I noticed in this article? They never said allegedly. They never said allegedly. No, they're crucifying every one of those people they mention. <sighs> My take in this is this, guys. It's scary times we live in, man. People can come at you with anything. And mm-hmm. if there are enough people spitting that narrative, it yeah, becomes yeah, truth. Mm-hmm. It becomes truth in the eyes of those people. And then the people that they influence. And so mm-hmm. on and so forth. This is one of our facts. And keeping receipts is very important. Well, here's the thing. Even if he's found not guilty, people are going to say, mm-hmm. oh, see, that's the problem with this and that. You know, just covering for him, you know. When you got money, you can get away with anything. You know, that's what they're going to say. So they're going to spin it. And it's not they're completely it. false, though. It's, it's not, not completely but false. You but, know it. They're, but they're going to spin it to fit their narrative no matter what. Right, you know? right. You know? So, you you know, even, even if he goes to court, he's got all the evidence in the world saying that, mm-hmm. you know, it didn't happen. He's still going to be crucified. Now, there, yeah. if it comes down, they got a video of him with his hand around her neck, choking her. Okay, yeah, throw his ass in jail. You know, yeah. recast him. I don't care. But right. until you know, let let the, let the legal system do do its thing. And my thing is like, she already recanted. You know, she already took it back. My opinion, and this is my opinion solely. Mm. I think she saw the phone, saw the message, whatever. They got in their yeah. little spat, and being a woman, she got mad. They, you know, they probably a little tussle for the phone and, you know, whatever. I don't think he full out choked her or whatever, but maybe there was a little pushing back and forth between both of them. And said, right. well, I'm calling the cops, you know, because you know what's going to uh, happen. Beeman Kuhn goes, what if they were just role playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And scene. And scene. Damn. Yeah. And scene. Nah, yeah. That would be insane. Yeah. Yeah. Told you to wear the dominatrix dress. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, even the recants can be uh, coerced to a hundred percent. Even even I'm, even I'm, if, I'm, if it's recanted, the damage is done. I'm, I'm not right. saying one's guilty and one's innocent, yeah. and vice versa. I'm just saying let's wait to find out what happens until the man's found right. guilty, or mm-hmm. there's, there's like concrete evidence of him doing yeah. what they said been done. You yeah. know, I'm gonna hold my judgment. You know, and mm-hmm. I'm not saying he's innocent, and I'm not saying he's guilty right now. I'm just waiting for the facts. Right. Exactly. You know, as long as they're actual, truthful, and yeah. You know. All right. So before we're just closing this up today.